Hi y'all! Today I'm going to show you guys the items that I like to work with for the intention of love. Start off with are my top three crystals for spell work and magical workings with the intention of love. That would be rose quartz. You got to go with rose quartz. That's my go-to stone crystal for any type of love energy. Rose quartz is the embodiment of love when it comes to crystals. Next is amethyst. The reason I like to work with amethyst is because it's one of those spiritual crystals. And for me, it helps with spiritual love and inner self, self-working, your, your spirit side of loving yourself. And last but not least is Botswana agate, pink Botswana agate. And this, these are beautiful types of agates. They have a lovely peach pink color to them. And I love working with Pink Botswana Agate because of the pink color. And the crystal has very calming, loving, self-love energies to me when I hold it. It's very similar to Rose Quartz for me. And Agate is one of the crystals I associate with Earth and Earth being able to ground you and oh, I think my love for the Earth kind of brings out those loving energies within me. And then my top three essential oils are sweet orange, lavender, and geranium. So sweet orange, it has a very orangey scent. It does smell just like orange, but it has more of a, a sweeter orange scent. So it's not that, it's not really that sour orange you would get from tangerine. It's more of a sweet orange scent. And I've always associated orange with love. That's just one of my go-to essential oils. Next is lavender. Lavender is one of those great floral essential oils to work with. And I think that any floral essential oil is great for love energies because I associate floral and flowers with love. And last is geranium. And geranium, if you have not smelled it, it's amazing. It smells just like rose. So rose essential oil can be very expensive. And geranium is an alternative to rose. It smells just like rose. And it's, it's just, it's great for love because I associate roses to love. And so geranium having that rosy scent is a great essential oil to connect to those loving energies through aromatherapy, through your sense of smell. The herbs I like to work with are lavender, rose petals, rosebuds as well in there, and catnip. So with lavender, I like to work with lavender because, again, with these, just like the essential oil, it's a floral herb that is great with the loving energies. Lavender also has that spiritual connection for me, just like with the amethyst. So I would associate the lavender with the amethyst in spell work. And the lavender is a great flower herb to work with. Roses, of course, you know, they're roses. I mean, I, I always associate roses to love. And, oh my gosh, the smell, it does still smell like roses. So I've always associated rose to love. And you can work with the rose with the geranium essential oil and the rose quartz. That's the combo I would do. And last is catnip. Catnip, now keep this away from your cats if you have any because it makes them giddy. <laughs> but catnip is a great herb for love. I've always associated catnip to the energies of love. And it has an herbaceous scent to it. And for some reason, I've, I just associate catnip as one of those love herbs you can work with. So I would combo this with the orange and the pink Botswana agate. And then 
the color that I work with for color therapy with love, of course, is pink. This is kind of a pale pink candle. I also have this one, this other pink one. Pink, of course, is a color I think a lot of people associate to love. In American chakraology, we associate green with the heart chakra, but we also do use a lot of pink crystals with the heart chakra. So I think pink is one of those colors that is just, it's the love color. It's the color of love. For the spell catalyst, I like to work with a candle. I like that I can inscribe the candle with runic or other symbols for love. I can anoint it with the essential oils, uh, coat it with maybe some of the herbs like lavender, roll it in that, and then surround it with maybe some of the crystals and burn it. The thing I like about these mini chime spell candles is that they're small, they're easy to work with, and they burn it pretty quickly so you don't have to take days to burn your spell candle. And if you're one of uh, the people that believes that your spell doesn't manifest until the candle is completely burnt out, you know, down to the very little nub, then spell candles are great because you don't have to wait forever for the candle to burn down completely. And the element that I associate with love is water. I'm using this little seashell that has a dolphin on it for water. I associate the element of water to love because water is an emotional element. It, it's the element of emotions. And love being an emotion, I think, along with compassion, love is in that category of connecting to the water element. Another great spell option is a bath. You could put some lavender and rose or geranium, uh, a couple drops of that in your bath water with some salt, maybe some lavender and rose petals in your bath. Maybe have some rose quartz or amethyst in the bath. I recommend putting your crystals in a baggie so that they don't go down the drain. And you don't also, you don't step on them or sit on them when you're in the bath. And just soaking in that bath and working with that element of water for your magical working. And those are the items that I like to work with when it comes to love. Thank you for watching. Blessings.